all right youtube guys thanks for subscribing like i said i'll be making more videos like today we'll be making um how to remove from the stock um wipers i ordered some from bulgaria sct from germany um also what we're gonna do it's got a plastic dip um the metal part of it it's actually like faded out so you can see i actually did this the other day as you can see man it came out really nice very simple just put something here and cover it i didn't film that but today i'm going to show you how to do this and how to remove and um we're gonna actually um have you even open the package so that about you guys you guys can um see these are the ones that i got from bulgaria hope i'm saying it right guys let's actually just open it get my knife pocket knife all right I use my pocket knife let's put it in there Sorry, can not film that? It's pretty, really tight in there. Let's see, um, let's see, um, there you go, that's for, um, Bulgaria. That's far away. Looks like that's a guy's apartment. Um, so, this is the, uh, the one that we're gonna put on, as you can see, SCT Germany, um, 22 and 26. So, um, as you can see, very, very nice. Um, also, you can get them for like 20 bucks on eBay. You gotta bargain those guys. I'm gonna want like 25, 30. Just put a bit, a bit on it. And um, eventually, he end up saying like, all right, take it for 20 bucks. All right, let's go ahead and start in how to remove those, the old ones, and putting the new ones in. Also, we actually wanna go paint this the sun is coming out already it's getting hot here in california now all right guys give me a second this is this is actually gonna be a little tough one because um, i'm using one hand but you slide the lock um up this way to your to your right side you want to remove those of course Lay it in there. Oops. Like I said, it's really hard when you can when you only have one hand and filming at the same time. Alright. Alright, so we already took the wipers off, right? So what you gotta do is lift this up. You see this? It says the lock right there. You gotta slide it down. All the way down, guys. All the way down until it comes out. Way down there. I can't do it with two, one hand, but I will try so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So I got a thin flat screwdriver. Come on, baby. It comes out now. You want to take this piece off too, but you got to be gentle in case you want to keep it. This one right here, okay? Very simple. Slide back. You need two hands. See, like, I can't do it with two hands. So, what you do is like you put one here. Here, watch. There you go. See, it's just a hook that is holding, it's just a plastic. But if you guys want to keep the part still, it might break. I'm letting you know right now. If you guys want to put the, the other kind. So, I'm trying to do it for you guys can see. There you go. 
because you can see, and then you just light it up. But I can't do it with two hands, so hold well on, guys. All right, I mean, I can't, you can't do it with one hand, so it's, you need two hands. So what I did, put the you know flat screwdriver right there, the other one here, push it in, and it's like so. I actually saved mine. Um, you can keep it, throw it away, whatever. Also, going back, see, there's still plastic there. Another one right there, so here too. You might want to keep that too if you want to keep it. So, you don't want to break them either, and they do come out too. And that's the one we have to remove, also, so we can put the new ones on. slide it there you go see it's not broken very nice now we can put the new one on right. so new one so we're gonna see which is the 26 which is the shorter one so the 22 goes on this side let's check right now with that all right all right so I got them out See here, that's the 22, and this is the 26, and it goes next to it, which is the one way down there. Okay, now to put this on, it's very simple. That's why we had to take these little parts off, this one too, including that one. All you do is just slide it in, slide it in, slide it in. You're gonna hear a clip. Be gentle too. If you heard guys heard the click the click but it did click but there you go it's just you can't see it's just gonna like wiggle it goes in also you gotta remove this piece that's right that goes behind it which is this one right there just a little piece that's all you have to do remove and there you go this for the new wiper blades I'm gonna try them out because I'm gonna go get my baby Bosch Let's do the other one, so you guys can see. I might need this one. So this is the clip I'm talking about. You gotta remember too. I'm trying to show you on this one. Right First, let's remove these. Remember, slide that one down. All the way down. It comes off. Looks like this one's gonna break. I don't know why mine is bent, but somebody probably tried to steal my wiper plates outside. Okay. Hold on, I can't do it with one hand. Alright, so this one had to twist it and I broke it, so that's what I'm saying. You gotta be careful. I gotta put this one back. I don't know why it's bent. Let me get my pliers. I think this should be good. We don't want to do too much. Uh, give me a second, guys. Alright, so what we're trying to do is line them up. There you go, slowly, slowly, then if we went too far, we can just pull a little bit, okay. So lined up, not all the way, but, let's see if we can always fix it.
There you go. Much better. Way much better. So we're for actually. Oh, this one's missing already. So let's see. Don't. So what we forgot to do is. That's a dip. No worries. We can always do it right now. Let's put everything together. Hold on. All right. So I prepped everything. Made it quick for you guys. Put any papers. We don't want to get on the glass. It's kind of kind of tough to um kind of rough to get it off. Sometimes um so it depends on the blasted dip. So I already cleaned it. Oh, let's do it out of the way. So I make sure I've any all the dust leftovers on it. So it's gonna be more. Doesn't really matter unless you know you're very picky about it. Then you can clean it like very really thoroughly. But eventually it's gonna catch a lot of dirt still, you know, from the outside. There you go. So you don't need that much. Here, just in case the air decides to take it up. Alright, right, that looks pretty good. Alright, let's get this started. So you guys can see. You know, We gotta go to the junker and get one of those. Just pop in right out. Yeah. Oh, it broke. That's why I had glue before all that. Oh. Anyways. I gotta go get any one. There we go. So what you're doing is, you also want to cover, you know, the bumper, the uh, hood. And I just woke up. Okay. You don't want to get it on the hood. So. And of course, little by little, no rush. Okay, guys. Let it dry. See, they get it on the hood. Just got to wash it. But looks like once it's this cold right here right now, it's gonna start getting warm. Once it dries up, it should look better. A lot better. You can you can also paint them. You know what I mean? But. Too much work for me right now. Alright, let's do the other side. It's gonna be a little more junk. Alright.
course, you can do two or three layers. Also, after that, you can just like lift it up. Let's see if you got cover here, which we're gonna do now. See, it's drying out very nice. Very nice. All right. Once it's all dried, then we can put. Um, our new wiper blades back on you just slide it in gentle of course don't try to touch this because you know you know it's plastic it will literally come off real quick um, I'm gonna let mine dry a couple minutes um, and then we can actually put the wiper blades back on coming up very nice Let's see if I can put mine right now even though it's a wake up a minute. I just can slide in there. Yeah, it looks way better than the way it was. It was all faded out. Alright, so I slide my in. Really good. I didn't even have to touch it, right? You know, where we put the plastic dip when we paint it. So, came out really good. Take this thing off. Put this baby down. There you go. Perfect fit. This one. This is the long one. Remember, we gotta slide in gentle. Alright, so I need two hands, but I'm sliding it in slowly. Oh, you guys heard it. And this is how you do it, guys. There you go. You heard it. It clicked. Both sides. Let me show you. Bam. The other one there. Bam. I didn't even have to. Don't, don't touch this after you do that plastic tip if you get to do it. Or you can do it after, but this is a 26 inch, brand new baby from Moldavia. And that's how you do it, man. Look, it came out really good. Classic day came up really good too. Look at that. All right, guys. Any questions? Subscribe. Um, thanks for the new subscribers out there. Appreciate your, you know, you guys are subscribing to watch my channel. If any questions, let me know. I'll be making all the videos. Um, I'm gonna show how to like remove this. 
this one I want to use the actual paint for it because you know I want to make sure it looks nice also I'm sure you've seen a lot of videos how to you know fix this this is a new one actually for the trunk but I don't know what happened to it I heard that the click the little spring falls off so I gotta fix that gotta order a new one um, let's see what else well that's how it is guys from E39 BMW 540i let me know subscribe thanks for watching